Alright, are we good on the... So we're good on that side, but about this side of things. Visually, just a little bit up into the... or down into the left. Oh, nope, that was a little too much more than a little bit. I just need to increase the size just a smidgen. That should do. More. There we go. And do we have audio and everything? There we, go. we do indeed. So, hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Solrak Dragon, here back with more Fate Grand Order, where we will be continuing Lost Belt number four today. For that, we'll quickly claim the master missions. No more yet, but they will be refreshing in a few hours. We will also, really quickly here, claim our consecutive login bonuses from yesterday, or rather from today. I know my days. And with that all of the way, let's get on with the Lost Belt. So, we are going into section 12, a long one. Last section, we just dealt with Asclepius, or we tried to, because Arjuna showed up and wiped the floor with us, and then Asclepius fled away, so now we have to try and track him down again. But yes, the Advancement Impulse, People and the Girl. Section 14, this one gives us two Genesis eggs as a final reward, as well as a quartz, so yay for that. Honestly, I don't think the name on your birth certificate matters that much. What really matters is what people think of you and what they call you. And that says so much more about who you really are than a name in some database ever could. Just look at all the famous historical figures who aren't known by the names they were given at birth. You even had some in Chaldea like Billy the Kid and Blackbeard, right? So there's no reason I can't. Nice try, Pepperoncino. Will you listen to me? This is important, damn it. Oh, the hell with it. It's a row, okay? My old name is Muyorenji Aro. Muyorenji Aro? So that's your real name? Yeah, where did Pepperoncino came from? Hmm, so you had your suspicions all along, did you? You're surprisingly observant, aren't you, you little devil, you? I'm impressed you figured that out before I did when I've known Pepe longer, Senpai. I guess I still have a lot to be know about, learn about being more observant. Anyway, it really doesn't mean anything to me, so I'd rather you just keep calling me Sexy Pepe as always. In fact, don't even bother calling me that other name, because I won't respond. Fofo! And don't ask me anything about where I came from or where I was from before Caldea. Besides, there's nothing there that isn't in my Team A profile. All you need to know is that after I left Japan for the West and started really enjoying my life, one thing led to another and I ended up beginning to know some people at the Clock Tower. Eventually, Marisbury introduced me to Caldea, saying I my combat experience was just what he needed to make up for the academic bent of all the other mages. And now, here we are. So you must have been born from, to a mage family, right? Shugen Dao, was it? I'd love to learn more about it, since it's the foundation of the Far East Magecraft and all, please. Don't try to make the whole little girl appearance thing, it's demeaning. I've heard that Shugen Dao is a mixture of Buddhism and mountain worship unique to Japan. Did Marisbury bring you into service to Maze God, or perhaps as an overseer of sorts? Survival is crucial when race shifting to an unfamiliar location, after all. Perhaps it was your job to keep an eye on the others and ensure they could survive in harsh environments? <laughs> I'll say it was something like that and leave it there. I remember you saying something about being able to use divine power before. But then how come the names of the spells you use in the battle don't sound anything like Shugen Dao? That's just because I made them up myself. Traditional Japanese names are lacking a certain je ne sais quoi. Anyway, as much as I love me, I'd love a different topic of conversation even more. Shouldn't we be discussing our next course of action? Makes a good point. Honestly, I don't care what his name is. We should be trying to figure out how we can possibly take down Arjuna. Yes, you're absolutely right. I do think we're on the right track, but I can't help but think we're still missing something crucial. Alright, enough stalling. You've got something in mind, don't you? Huh? Who, me? Yes, you. It's obvious you know something, just like you did earlier. It's written all over your face. Yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> you got me. Damn, it really is something else. I guess this is what you call natural intuition. The more godlike a gauze is, the stronger they are. And that's it in a nutshell. And it's exactly what we needed to be reminded of. What do you mean? 
I couldn't be more basic. Think about it. What makes he a, what makes a god a god? Here, let me put it another way. What kind of god do you think is stronger? One nobody's ever heard of, when or one everyone believes in and prays to. Now I see. Basic indeed. In fact, so elementary, I failed to consider it. I can't tell if you're serious or if it's just sour grapes. There's something similar for servants, too. I think it's called a fame bonus. Oh, yeah? Now that you point it out, it really is a simple problem. The reason Arjun has a god here isn't because he collected every divinity in this land for himself. And it's also because the people here worship him as a god. But what would happen if they didn't consider him a god anymore? His divine strength would be reduced. Precisely, Director. I get it. It means the fewer people who believe in Arjun as a god, the weaker he'll become. And he's just super popular, so I don't have any idea what it feels like to have faith in you fade away. No, really. I see, so this is like asking where I can be a greater hero, the India that knows me or the India that doesn't. By virtue of who I am, I can, of course, be a great hero in either, but there's still bound to be a difference. If these two versions of me were to throw their Brahmastas at one another, the victor would surely be the one from the India that knows me, and there would definitely be an observable gap between the two. Now I get it, so then how can we get people here to stop believing in Arjuna? We're already going somewhere we can find out. So, the uh, one town under Lakshmi. Well, you're saying, then you're saying my resistance was not for naught after all. Not at all. If anything, you already did the hardest work of making our first toehold. I'm super grateful. To be honest, I've had my doubts about my actions here. While I never doubted my conviction in this, that this world was wrong and desperately needed to be fixed, I did wonder if my efforts here were meaningful and whether there was anything to be gained by involving the people of this land in my fight. That's where I started. People have gotten hurt. I may be a queen and a commander, but I'm not so saintly as I made up to be. I still have doubts. I do believe in what I'm doing, but I'm not so naive that I never thought to question it. I've never forgotten what one of the locals told me back when this began. They said that what I was doing was meaningless, that I pointlessly endangering innocents, leaving any of them hurt. But it wasn't meaningless after all, was it? It sure wasn't. Your village is showing us the way forward. Now we just need to keep spreading the gospel, so to speak. It might not be easy, but your village has proven that the people can't change their minds. Who's to say the same can't happen somewhere else? You're right. Once we get back to Naval, I'll talk to the village and ask them to help us spread this movement. I expect the people of this land will be much more receptive to them than they would be to someone like me. Yeah, sure, but every movement needs a charismatic leader like yourself, you know. Oh. I want to get the people here to resist the current state of the world. I know that would help us, but... Oh, I see you realize the paradox with this plan, Mashi. Figured you might. If people don't believe, then Arjun is just going to think they're worthless and purge them. Good, our plan of action is set. Then let's be on our way. You know what? I think even I feel lighter on my feet now. Uh, speak for yourself. All the bad karma I racked up as, my unemployed demo, as an unemployed bum is still weighing me down. I wish there was a wagon or something right here. Here right now. I wouldn't even have to have any seats. Really, I don't care what I ride as long as I don't have to walk. Did you just jump on me like I'm the one that should be giving you a ride, you weird cat thing? Getting she has no mere pack mule. Made hey, you think you're more important than a god? I mean, you're really cute, so I guess you can ride, but still. I mean, you know, foe is a beast. Candidate, probably. The bar. This one is a Lancer Rider node. So, we'll bring Lakshmi as the support. But other. You know what? Let's just bring Lakshmi along. See how she does. No harm in it, after all. No harm in it. And we're moving forward another day. Kali Yuga is fast approaching. Oh no. Oh no. Saw that coming. What the? What happened here? Lady Lakshmi, you're back, thank goodness. I'm glad you're all right. What in the world? No, wait. I know what happened here now. It's them. It's... The Divine Beasts. Yes, it's the sacred beast. A number of them suddenly showed up at once. Even though no one had died and the Kali weren't attacking, weren't attacking us. We can figure out why later. Right now, there are buildings being destroyed and people being attacked. I'm sure you know what it is we need to do, Master. Drive the beasts away. Damn it, I knew it. Does this mean you won't let me forget after all? Won't let who forget? Ooh. Interesting. Some deeper means there. Ba -ba 
ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 Two waves. The wands and the Uchiha. Alright, we need to take out the Dewans first, though, because they be riders and they will destroy our casters. Of I really need an AoE Berserker. Other than, um, Bunyan. Hmm. <laughs> I really, really need an AoE, AoE Berserker for the Seize situation. Alright, Merlin gives us this boost. It's worth doing. Um... Yeah, this will be fine. Hopefully the Lancer at least goes down, and maybe this first Dewan. And none of them went down. Awesome! At least we did decent damage, you know. So there's that. Scotty is hurting though. Um, we. Mm -hmm. See, I'm tempted because the Chiha Ravas is gonna be annoying, but we have to play it smart and get rid of the Dewans first. <laughs> I'm lucky that crit was enough. No crit from Scott, of course. And now we need to take down the Uchiha Ravas. So that it doesn't get its special attack off. Oh, you could have crit there. Oh, Scotty, you barely hanging on. Get that events up here. Um, get a Sky next turn. This turn, cycle through like such. Uh, welcome, BBULA. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, I can be sure to do that. Let me just finish this battle and I will go ahead and throw you a friend request. And if you can throw me a follow, that would be appreciated as well. But welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy my. What happened to the invincibility? Did the Dewan strip Scotty of invincibility? I was not paying attention. Gosh darn it. There goes Lakshmi's improved attack with that quick boost that can be provided. Unfortunate, but that's what I get for not paying attention, isn't it? Okay, there we go. And then there was one. Uh, Rush will be able to NP next turn as well, at the very least, so, you know, there is that. We'll be able to handle this next wave with very little issues. Alright, alright. Fatal battle. Whoa, Nelly! Mahanaga. Was not expecting something like this. And given that you get Genesis eggs as a reward from this, these are probably the things that are going to be dropping. Genesis eggs. Fantastic. Awesome. Giant Lancer Snake God things. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. 
Um, this doesn't matter, so throw that on you. And we'll lead with an Arresh into Lockthroom and into Lockthroom. For that overcharge. Hey, grab some business. Only 27,000. I really don't want to see what kind of skills these things have. Only 96. Come on, crit, crit, crit. Yes! Hero creation for the win! Yeah, yep, there's... Oh, Eggs of Truth. That's what their translated name is, right? I think I like a Genesis Egg better. Genesis Egg just sounds cooler, you know? That takes care of all the secret beasts, but I'm afraid. Our village, why? Why did this happen? We drove away the other sacred beasts and, de and defeated Nezai only a few days ago. Unfortunately, it's no surprise that the town may have drawn the enemy's notice. Forgive me. It's alright, Lady Lakshmi. This wasn't your fault. We just weren't strong enough. There were more of them than we were expecting, and some were bigger than the sacred beast, than any sacred beast we'd ever seen before. Besides, they may have crushed our wall and destroyed our homes, but we still have our lives. At least, that's how those of us who survive feel. Oh, what are we going to do now? That was there was to keep you safe from the Kali, right? Now that it's been destroyed... We get fighting back. You can't even live here with your village in ruins like this. Based on my experience as a king, my suggestion is to abandon the village. I think that is your only choice. I understand how you feel, but it's just the way you can rebuild your defenses before the next Kali Yuga. As I see it, your only option is to stay in the closest nearby town. I think that would be Bichu until the Kali Yuga is over. No, that's... they can't! It's alright, Lady Lakshmi. He's right. We know we don't have any other choice. I hate to leave the village I grew up in, but we can always rebuild. We can't bring people back to life. Oh yeah, hero creation is perfection in Buster Incarnation. I can't wait for the inevitable strengthening quest it's probably going to get. I say, it may not be your king, but I commend your decision nonetheless. You are strong and brave people, and you should be proud of that. We'll, we'll be the escort. I hate escort missions, but you know. Yes, Master, of course we will. Although, I'm a little uneasy about what will happen once we get there. Hey, no point worrying about that now. Besides, that mayor guy looked like he'd turned over a new leaf. I'm sure it'll be just fine. It's not going to be just fine, is it? Oh my, what a terrible hardship you've all been through. Well, I don't see any need to discuss this with the others. Of course you can stay here. Oh wow, I was, I'm standing to corrected. Thank you, I can't tell you how, hap how grateful I am for your kindness and hospitality. Think nothing of it, this is what neighbors are for. The important thing is that you're all safe and sound. Make yourselves comfortable in the town hall for now. We can figure out what to do next once you've settled in. Told ya. Oh my goodness, this is such a relief. Pepe doesn't seem like he's in belief of all this, though. Give that look. And Pepe is quite expressive, you know. Alright, I will really quickly send you that friend request. My in-game name is Soul. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Let's check it out real quick as well. Ooh, very nice, very nice setup here. Very potent, very potent. You got a comma there. Looking good, looking good. And event setup is the same. Doesn't really matter right now because, you know, there is no event going on. But yeah, I very much like your setup here. I will send you the request. There you go, Leon. There you go. Alright, and now continue with the story. And a Berserker class servant. Possibly servant. So, in this instance... Oops, that was the wrong order to swap things around. We're gonna just bring in the safety slot of Oi. Oh, Oi. Wherefore art thou, Oi? There she be. Thank you very much for the follow, BBULA. It is appreciated. And I hope you enjoy. Uh, my sins truly do run deep. I got us within me. What do you think? 
I know you won't answer me, but I also know that you're listening. That's why I asked you back then what I should do, what it was I should do, and now here we are. I know what I'm doing, and I've made my peace with it. But even so, now that things have come to this, I can't help but wonder. The village is in ruins, lives have been lost, and people are grieving. Who can say this isn't the result of getting caught in that inescapable current? Is what I, what we're doing here, truly worth deceiving the Chaldeans? Oh. Deceiving the Chaldeans. Ah, so this is where you've been hiding. I was just taking a midnight walk. What brings you here? Oh, it's you. I was doing the same. I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd sit out and watch the moon. I see, I see. The moon really is lovely tonight. May I join you? <laughs> I think it best you don't. If you mistake me for your wife again, then try to, for instance, put your me around me, we would lose a valuable fighter. Alright, see you when you stop by again, BB ULA. Forgive me, I meant no offense. Though I have no romantic feelings for you, I should still have chosen my words more carefully. My humblest apologies, Lakshmi. I'm afraid you'll have to enjoy the night sky alone, young king of bygone days. I'm going back to get some sleep. Ram overheard her. Hmm, strange. I don't even know how to describe this feeling. Oh, maybe he didn't overhear her. Did Pepe? Yeah, this is accelerating far faster than I thought. Far, far, far faster acceleration than I realized. Oh, it's such a surprise to see you over here. Good morning, mister. You're as cheery as ever today, Asha. Uh-huh. That's one thing I'm good at. Good morning, Asha. And good morning, um... He doesn't seem to please. Why oh, do you have that ex Jai? Demulu. It's for my job, of course. My dad's a great lumberjack. He can cut down a tree this big in no time. Lumberjack, huh? That's a fine line of work. People can always use more wood. Shut up. So you're the ones who brought the people from Deval here, huh? This town doesn't have that much spare either. You'll regret that. No, we won't. Prakash, I'm... Prakash opened up... Welcome to the Winars just yesterday. We were just about to... There you are. Hello, Prakash. Is everything alright? You seem upset. I heard what you would... I heard why you had to leave your village. It's because of a pack of sacred beasts attacked it, our god's own holy agents. The sacred beast would never destroy a village unless it would need to be destroyed. It must have been irredeemably evil. No one from that village is welcome here. Hold it. We told ourselves what... We told you ourselves what brought us here. We told you what we had done to earn the beast's iron, our reason for doing so. You had no problem with any of it yesterday. You said that loving your neighbor was the most noble act anyone could. Oh yes, I heard all about what you did. You abandoned your prayers and turned your backs on our god. You took up a corrupt arms against the Kali and sacred beast alike and slaughtered them with your own barbaric well hands. I did feel sorry for you, as I assumed you had no other choice, but that has nothing to do with our town. And yet you still have the gall to come here and shamelessly ask us for help. The sheer audacity of it all. Your insolence sickens me. Wait, how are we back to this whole song and dance? Oh, I know, this is his evil twin, isn't it? Do you truly believe I would ever be deceived by such a trick? If a mere evil twin were all a trick for all me, I should have... I would shut up my business and retire to Sussex. Yeah, you're all filthy barbarians. That's why the sacred beast purified your village. You read this on yourselves. You should be ashamed. And the villagers join in now. <laughs> they were all fine with this yesterday. What happened? Did they get brainwashed overnight or something? You might be closer to the mark than you think. It's said that people's hearts grow cold when a Yuga cycle, even a normal one, nears its end. That lines up with my experiences too, but it's still a shock to see them change so much so quickly. Is everyone angry now? I don't like this. Don't you so. Of course, I expect there's a bit of variance between individuals as far as this change is concerned. What a fascinating metaphysical law. Never mind that now. Look. Uh oh. What's it be? What's it be? Shut up. You have no idea what we've been through. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of forgetting the people I've loved. Don't you talk about. To that. Uh, don't you talk like that to us, you heretics. We are the good people who keep the gods' law. That's right. We want nothing to do with you, you blasphemy. I don't like this. The last thing we want is for people fighting each other. I don't suppose it would be any better if there were fighting things than that are, aren't people? Like, say, a pack of decidedly inhuman things that are headed towards this town as we speak? Kali! Well, it's the Depara Hugo now. It's about time they start to pick up the pace. It's the Kali. The Kali are here. Okay, everyone. Get ready to pray slush fight. Oh, it's people talking, so that's why. So some of them are going to fight, some of them are going to pray. I, I get it. The people of Duval are going to fight. 
with us. Probably not that effectively. I'm glad I chose Oi, though. Intuition saves, and we get an AoE fighter. I should probably bring XX one of these times. I think she... Actually, is she an AoE foreigner or is she single target? I don't recall. It's been a while since I've gotten her used her. Okay, uh, da da dun. Please crit Scotty and kill. Yes! No crit, but still kill. Oh, very good hit there, boy. Alright. And an Arts Blast. Sounds good to me. I need to check out XX's AoE or single target here. X gonna give it to you. I know she's quick based, so she will synergize with Scotty from the house. She is single target. Arts. I I could have swore she was quick. Good gracious. My brain does not know things, apparently. Alright. Um so, honestly, Oi is probably a little bit better unless we're up against single blasting, which maybe, hmm, maybe Arjuna, maybe, that's a thought. I don't know why I did hero creation there, but I stand by it. And that would be good. Alright, Oi, destroy them all. <laughs> very, very good. What was that supposed to mean, I wonder? Alright. Let's see, and just some QP. RIP. My jaw is a little locked up for some reason. Uh, triple threat here. Caster, Berserker, and Lancer. I think I'm still gonna keep Oi as the head of this party because she's pretty powerful she's mp3 after all you know so yeah let's keep boy going here ah it, is this it does this mean we never had any match to Kali with to begin with Don't give up. Our greatest strength is our ability to work together. Follow my lead. I'll clear the way forward. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Can't believe it. They are really fighting back. Yeah, I don't get... The ones in the weird outfits aside, they're just regular people, same as us. Why would they do it? Mister? A Kali broke through the wall. God protect me. God protect us all. Oh no, not Asha. Uh -huh. Her father. Stepping in. Hey, Ajai! Damn it, I've done it. Now I've done it. It's all their fault. Now that they've shown us we can fight back ourselves, my body just moved on its own. Well, there's nothing to be done for it now. Come on, Asha. Father. Prayers aren't going to do anything now that the wall's broken. The only thing I can depend on now is my axe. We're getting out of here, Asha. Those people are Ulu, but we've still got better odds to come with them. Okay. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hold on, I'm coming with you. I'm not going to let myself get eaten without a fight. Huh? Wait, I'm coming too. Ah, showing people fight back is starting to turn people to our side. Yeah! Mr. Look, more people are joining us in the fight. And not to get away from the Kali, but to help the people they're attacking. It's a big help and all, but... 
as I thought, there's nothing more inspiring than the sight of ordinary people violently fighting for their lives. Compared to that, a mere queen can only do so much. Of course, I think someone once said, it also matters how brightly the one standing at the forefront shines. Hey, enter me, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, how be things, how be things. I am enjoying the story. I will say that, I am quite enjoying the story. Um, this law spell is... I mean, it is, honestly, a little bit more grim than the other Lost Belts, in my personal opinion. You know, just the fact that if you die, essentially all memory of you is wiped from the ones you love, except for maybe written records and stuff, that's, that's more than a little morbid, you know. That's just, that's terrifying, to be honest. But otherwise, I am quite enjoying it, you know. It is a good story. I am enjoying Pepe. He seems like a cool dude, you know. I'm glad he's on our side for now. And I look forward to seeing how this Lost Belt continues. Notice again, you two have that, that sad look on your faces ever since we decided to try and win more people over to resistance. Is there something wrong with the people of this land fighting back? If there is, then please tell me. Oh yes, we haven't told you precisely what will happen once this Lost Belt's tree of emptiness is cut down, have we? I'll let you decide whether or not to tell her. Yeah, now's not the best time to be telling those kind of dark deets. Hm. Solo's right. I am commanding this mission, and I have no plans to hide the truth. But this isn't the sort of thing you just drop on someone in the middle of battle. So for the time being, I'd ask that you just focus on winning this fight. The rest can wait until after that. I haven't heard much about this either. Whatever it is, it sounds very important. Hmm? Hey, Kali Kali. Boo! Look, she will explain everything out of this battle, I promise. There are even more Kali headed this way right now. We need to deal with them before we... Huh? An arrow just blasted these Kali away. Where did it come from? I can't believe it. It looked to me like it came from outside the town. <laughs> Gotta keep things... Gotta keep things even God's judgment. At least sort of fair, seeing as I'm his servant and all. And if the Kali unfairly outnumber the sacred beasts, it's my job to thin the herd. Even if it's a pain in the ass. This is not good. I was hoping we could take our time with him after dealing with Asclepius, but now he's shown up on his own. Archer, William Thomas have killed those Kali from quite a distance. Be careful, Master. What? You're telling me he nailed them from that far away? Even a sniper rifle would have, been, would have trouble at that range. Remember, he's a servant and an archer at that. We should assume his arrows are infused with magical energy. Nor can we assume his crossbow is less deadly than a modern assault rifle merely because it appears to be old-fashioned. Nonetheless, the sheer distance is absurd. Even my sharp eyes can't make out his position. True, this is too much even for a first-rate archer. Maybe the divinity was given us something to do with it. I mean, he's on our side for now, so you know. Legend of God and the Secret Peace have come to save us. I knew our prayers would have been it would be answered. We're saved, everyone. We're going to be okay now. Damn, old Luke. I don't know how I know this, but if those arrows end up hitting on a bus by mistake, I can tell the god wouldn't lift a finger to help us. Stay back, Asha. Don't you dare get in front of me. I mean it. I won't. Thank you, Father. This is going to be a difficult fight. Those arrows may be taking a collie right now. There's no telling when they might come back flying towards us. I'm going to focus first and foremost on keeping you in safe, Master. Whatever you do, make sure to stay behind my shield. Will do, Mashu. I will always stand behind your shield. Especially after you take the Goetia's blast, you defeat a Goetia's blast. <laughs> I really am dreading seeing that animated. I'm both hyped for it and dreading it internally. You know. Okay, two waves. First wave is pure Kali. All right. Um. <laughs> Just go like this. <laughs> If Oi builds up NP on her own, that's fine. Otherwise, we need to save her NP for the next wave. Tell's shot. That was 3142 damage, it looks like. Yep, 3142. Not bad, not bad. Not really thematic for one shotting the Kali, mind you, but you know. It is what it is. Okay, it's doing different amounts of damage. That's... that's best. 
Alright. Come on. There's the crit kill. No point in NPing yet. For only one enemy. Especially when we've got the kill here. Oh. Yes, we got the kill. Awesome. And we could even get an overcharge at NP on Oi here. We probably won't. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Not a berserker in sight. Unfortunate, but nothing we can't deal with. We'll have two NPs we can use in a row. Um, do it like this. Let's see how it goes. Good hits, solid hits. The next NP will definitely be enough to finish. Mysterious glitter. Oh, that that's mean. Taking away my stars, huh? Oh, and he's firing at us now, too. Lovely. But this fight ends. Oi, finish them off. I cannot wait for Castoria to come out, because Oi is going to just get so much stronger. She is my go to heart service, especially. I really need to learn what that says. What that means, that jo 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 jo. Ooh, Sky Bond level 9. Yes. We're one step closer to being able to do quick memes even more assuredly. True. She is a year away, but you know, I can I can wait that year. I plan on rolling for her anyways, even if that next year is going to be, you know, hectic with the rolls. But how are you enjoying the story, by the way, into me? If you don't mind me asking, how are you enjoying all of this? The fourth lost belt. All right, single art. So it's an archer enemy, single class. We choose our servant after dialogue. It's probably gonna be up against Tell, if I had to guess. That's the last of the Kali, but now. Sniper hasn't stopped. He's going after us now. This is hardly a surprise, even though openly have been opposing their god's rule. It makes sense he would be unwilling to let this chance pass him by. The good news is neither Asclepius nor Ashwatthamana are anywhere nearby. I suspect he just happened to catch sight of you while dealing with the Kali and decided to pick you off as well while, dealing while he was at it. Forget the cool headed analysis, dammit. Make sure you keep a wall between you at all times. Find a shadow to hide in. We are, but it's not. How the hell has he seen you guys? And how the hell is he still able to snipe you? The only way this makes sense is if his arrows can go around obstacles. Uh, you just finished it earlier today. Story found the best so far, but the fights were kind of meh in this one. I mean, so far the only meh fight I've really... Okay, I can't say the only, because there has been a couple of fights that were just sort of like, really, like the... Nezha final fight was just like, you know, a gimmick. She burned herself out. Yes, that's cool from a story standpoint, but like, it wasn't a satisfying victory there, you know? Asclepius, he wasn't really anything special. I pretty much destroyed him in two hits thanks to Noble Phantasm power. I don't remember who I used because that happened yesterday, but I remember I did two hits. I used Melt. Of course I used Melt. Why am I saying I don't remember who I used? And then the first God Arjuna fight was just like, press buttons, do zero damage. It's like, those kind of fights are good, I guess, from a story standpoint, but even still, you know, they 
they could have given him something to do, like some sort of charge skill, you know? It just made me have flashbacks to that she who shall not be named fight, you know? But I am enjoying the story here. Um, like I said, I do think the fate of the people in this Lost Belt is a little bit grim. And I will say it probably ranks... Mm, I don't know. Like, current Lost Belt rankings for me... I would have to say the first Lost Belt just for the sheer emotional impact it carried. Probably followed by the Chinese Lost Belt. Although the Chinese Lost Belt, I'm going to be honest was carried by Spartacus's moment of glory, to be honest. And then even the third Lost Belt was still damn good with Ophelia's moment to shine, you know? None of the Lost Belts have been bad, really. Well, that might be exactly what's happening. I have an idea or two of how that could work. I wish I'll share some more facts about India since I don't have anything better to do right now. Look, Paul inside this guy is probably Vayu, the god of the wind. He'd be a great fit for an archer. Hanuman's spiritual father, huh? That would explain how he's able to fly so nimbly. And it could also explain how he's able to control Zero so freely across such vast distances. Now he's also the spiritual father of his brother, Bihama. He's such a possessed unparalleled strength. Gods don't come much bigger than him. So how are you going to fight him? Well, if he's a god of the wind, then I think I need to bring somebody of the earth to fight. I'm still barely managing to deflect his arrows, but the longer this goes on... Oh, oh. The usual to handle archers close to the distance and negate their range advantage. What do you say, Master? Shall we try that? Let's give it a shot! But it's not safe to make a move without a plan. It's not safe to stand here, either. I can only deal with his arrows right now because of keeping our feet planted alive, so let's just focus on every direction at once. She's right. One wrong move and that delicate balance will be lost. You're our most vulnerable team right here by Tar. You're our, yep, 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 yep. You're our most vulnerable target here by Farsoul. And if even one arrow makes it past Mash, it's game over. You see, I knew Shuttons were the most powerful class around. We'll have to make ourselves comfortable and settle in for the long haul here. Step one, break out that Kotatsu. No, by definition, that won't get us anywhere. I'll just have to go out there myself and settle this as quickly as I guess that won't work either, so you have a bit of a problem. I just hope they stop the whole befriend the lost belt child to make you feel bad thing. I mean, it it gives a more sense of um, weight, you know? Like, granted, this is only the second time out of four that they've done that. They've only done it with two children, Gerda and now Asha. Patsy, honestly, I think he had the most emotional impact of them all thus far, you know? The fact that even though he knew that his world would be destroyed if we succeeded. He sacrificed us and gave us that motivation to, you know, push through and do it. His is by far the most emotional and most impactful of all of the Lost Belt's sacrifices so far. Gerda, I feel she was meant to showcase the innocence that is lost. While Paxi was a method of getting us to fight, Gerda, I feel, was showing us, you know, what is lost with all of these. As if the twinkle, twinkle, little star scene wasn't emotionally impactful enough that I can't hear that without feeling sad now, you know? So Gerda was sort of the other side of that coin. While Paxi showed us what we're fighting for, Gerda showed us what we're fighting against here. The Chinese Lost Belt, it really didn't have any emotionally attached NPC characters to it. Um, I guess Mothman was sort of at the end, you know, fighting to protect what was his, show us why our version is superior. I guess he sort of had a little bit of both mixed in. Asha, though, Asha seems even more innocent than Gerda, I'm going to be completely honest here, you know? So, I'm looking, I can't wait to see how her character goes forwards, if at all, you know? Or if she's just going to be another child to, you know, make us feel sad. But, who knows, they might surprise us. Well, that's right, things aren't looking good either way. I can't afford to be concerned about appearances now, maybe this time to come clean. But I can't help but wonder. 
What are they hiding? I know they don't mean to me harm. I know they don't mean to me any harm, and that they are just as devoted to winning this war as I am. But why do I sense such grim determination in their efforts? Mister, are you guys okay? Please stay back, Asha. We're fine, I promise. Damn, Ulu. I told you to stay behind me. Right, I should have known. Whatever it is they're not telling me, it doesn't matter. We have more immediate concerns. Your father is right. Both of you should stay back, but I do have one favor to ask. There must be a wagon somewhere in this town, or even just a single horse and cart. Would you bring them here? Lakshmi. Is there some reason I should listen to you? No, there isn't. I'm asking a favor. No, not even that. I'm willing to offer payment in return. There's nothing wrong with motivating people with money or goods. I learned back that back in the rebellion. To be clear, they are the ones who will be paying, not me. So, you must have something in the way of food or valuables, do you not? Yeah, we got some jewels back on the border. You have jewels. Alright, I should be able to sell those for money and buy food. I'll be back soon. Come on, Osha. Oh, okay. What's all this all about? I have a plan, a plan that will take us down the... Well, let us take down the archer, even while he trick continues to try to snipe us. That sounds just like what we need right now. What exactly do you have in mind? Yeah, I don't see what we could do with a horse and cart except use them to charge straight at him. And that sounds like it'd be real hard. What if the archer shoots the driver or the horse? And if we keep them safe, that would leave Soul wide open. I know that, unfortunately, it's difficult to explain, but I can say this. You'll all ride the cart, I will ride the horse, and I will see you to him safely, I promise. You're uncertain about this. Don't worry. I'll do this just as I always have done things. I work as hard, just as hard, no, even harder. That way we'll be sure to get there. She's smiling. Does that mean she really that confident in her plan? How's this? That's fine. You can go now. Just leave the horse there. But miss. That goes for you too. No need to worry about me. Just go and hide before you get hit by a stray arrow. Good, all right. On my signal, you all get in the cart. I'll get the horse moving once you're all in. Don't worry about anything except keeping you soul safe until we get there, got it? Got it. Good answer. Alright, let's go. Forward march! Or forward charge. Oh, so they came out. Huh? Looks like they're planning to ride that horse-drawn carriage all the way here. Of course, they must have known I'd pick off the horse first if they tried something like that. Well, let's see what they had in mind to do with that. This first bolt will probably be coming any moment now. Keep your guard up. I hope that I'll expect to go after the horse first. Or maybe you. Please make sure you keep your guard up too. She's taking the arrows herself. I'm fine. It's just my shoulder. No need to slow down. The hell? I know what's in for the horse. How did I miss? I pride myself on being a good hunter. I shouldn't have any problem taking down a domesticated farm animal. Let's try that again. How is she redirecting the shots? Oh no, Lakshmi, you've been shot again. I'm fine. All you need to worry about is keeping Master safe. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? What's going on here? The horse kicked up a stone that knocked my arrow off course. Then deflected it into the rider. This is freaking me out. I don't need to be hitting anything other than what I was aiming at. Let's try a different target. I'll use Vayu's power to aim for the Master five meters to the side, off to the side. Damn it, it happened again. It was a bird this time. How does hitting a bird's feather knock my shot off course and into the rider again? Okay, so maybe her falling off the town wall into a pit trap wasn't a mistake. Maybe she's got some sort of conceptual targeting. What is going on here? Is that a noble phantasm, a skill, some innate trait? Uh Watch me hang in there. I can deflect those arrows with my. Stay there. Don't worry. This is just part of who I am. Your big hair don't only muddy it. I maybe make it clear? <laughs> Watch me. I told you, don't worry. These shots won't kill me. They won't aim at me. Of course, if one of them does come directly for me, then it'll need to be deflected, but that's a job for my sword and my sword alone. Weird. Doesn't matter if I aim for the horse, the wheels, or the master. Everything hits the rider. It's like everything surrounding them is working to make sure I only hit her. But none of them are enough to kill her. Makes sense, as I wasn't trying to. Okay, that new plan will just kill you first. And there's the deflection. There. 
He started him for me directly. I knew it would eventually. That's more like it. He's certainly under his fame. I can hardly tell where the shots are coming from. It's all I can do to deflect them and avoid dying. Don't make me repeat myself again. I'm not slowing down. Just think about what you're going to do when we get there. Jeez, Lakshmi is a fucking beast. You can't stop me. I've always fought for my country. How could I not? It was true during the Sepoy's Rebellion, and it's true now. I wasn't fighting for something greater meeting. I just had to keep moving forward to protect what I held dear. So that's what I did. Even before I knew what I was doing, I wavered. I even hesitated, but I never stopped. The meaning can come later. It pushes me forward other reasons that lie behind me. I know what lies behind me now is in my own country. I know it's my it's, it's not my homeland, Jinsai, but... There are still the people, just like the people of my country were. The lies behind me in there and there now are people, people with homes, livelihoods, and families. So I'm not stopping for anything, God. Whatever happens to me, no matter how ugly things get, I can't stop until I get where I need to go. Damn it. You know, what would be awesome is if, we, during some time that, we got a still of Lakshmi peppered with arrows deflecting one of the swords but riding the leading the carriage that would have been an awesome cg we're here to think you never hit your target even once we'll even tell talk about bad luck <laughs> all those arrows fighting i still couldn't bring you down because you're even more slippery quarry than that scumbag we got gessler but it master we made contact with the enemy yeah, okay lakshmi i'm fine but as i said i'm afraid the rest of you will how'd you take it from here I still don't know how you did that, but we could never have made it here without your help. We won't let your efforts go to waste. Let's do this, Master. Yeah, we can't lose in close range combat. Woo! Especially when we have the ultimate anti-divine lancer on our squad. We'll bring Ganesha as the support, but... Oi, you're taking a back seat here. For it is time for Enkidu to shine. In addition to that... Um, I think I'm going to switch out Scotty for Waver at this point. Just because Waver does offer a little bit more in the way of general stuff compared to her. And this party will be set. We will move Ganesha up and, mash and Melt back just because Melt's not going to be too useful here. And let's go! Excuse me. Fatal battle. William Tell. All right, all right. Pepe's backing twist of love. No buffs. Unusual, but I will gladly take it. Question is, do I noble phantasm here first things first, or do I hold the line? I think I need a chain before I noble phantasm here, so... Go like this. We need to start getting NP here for an actual one. Thousand, good. He has hand-to-hand -hand combat, and his crossbow looks very much like a freaking sniper rifle. All right, this is gonna be a good turn here. Um, I don't want to invince. I'm gonna save that for Tell's NP. But next turn, we'll only have one NP to attack. But we'll be able to noble phantasm with just Merlin alone. Fuck them. Alright. So just Merlin's dreamlike charisma. Pure creation. Transformation. And that'll be good. So, do do do. Yes, we got this done. 
Ah, gosh darn it. So close. So minusculely close to getting the kill there. Get the defense, and Enkidu get a crit blast. Tarnation. That's something we would get enough for an NP. Difficult so close up. Increased crit rate, but crit... Rate. No, critical damage up, crit rate down. Okay, so he's single target. And he's not targeting Enkidu, sadly. Okay, that's fine. From this, we should get enough that Waver's buffs will provide the Noble Phantasm. They do indeed. Sadly, not much in the way of stars, and we lack the hero creation and all the buffs. However, if we last... If we, go to, if we tank him out for two more turns, we'll, be, we'll have them. In fact... Let's go like this. No stun. That sucks. Two more turns is all we need to tank it for. Use tactician's advice. So I want this Noble Phantasm to be as powerful as it can be. Just guarantee the kill before he gets another, another one of his pawns, so I don't have the protection. I think now is the point where we start buffing with Waver. Next turn we have our Phantasm and we get the kill. Um, BAQ. Should have done QBA. For the better crit star gun. I'm dumb dumb. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping he would hit Merlin so he could do an overcharge Noble Phantasm with Enkidu, but this will be fine. Hey Randy, welcome, welcome, happy things, happy things. Um, mainly because I didn't have a good starting turn, unfortunately. I only had one Enkidu card. And I kind of wanted to see what he had up his sleeves, you know? I was kind of curious to see if this battle had any gimmicks or anything. It doesn't, so you know, it's fine. But welcome, Randy. Hobby things, hobby things. I mean, very obviously, I could have Q-turned him. Actually, no, not with the starting hand. I had gotten dealt, because I would have needed to generate 30% NP with Enkidu, and considering I had the... Buster card, I believe it was in the start, that 30% NP would have been impossible. Even if I had super scoped him. So, yeah. Skaha is your ace against these Lost Belt 4 archers. Yeah, Skaha would actually probably be a little bit better, especially since Buster is still debuffed at this point. But Quick was the first one to have their buff removed. Debuff removed. But the final part of section 12. They're too damn close. I'm in trouble here. Time to get the hell out. Hey, after all that, you're just gonna run away? Have you no honor? Yeah, I thought you fought against tyrannies, not for them. That's right, I know your story too. You're a brave hero who wanted nothing more than to protect your family. So why are you doing this? Yeah, I don't know what you're on about. I'm just a hunter servant, bound by contract to do with my his master orders. That's all there is to it. It's not my place to decide how this world should be. Woods are woods, as far as I'm concerned. 
You're on section 18, nearing the end. So 18 is closing in on the end, huh? Okay. I honestly don't know how many sections there are myself. I've been going at this. This is the fourth day in a row of streaming, but um, I'm enjoying myself. Get that kid. Don't bother on your old ship to go after him. We've got some good hits in. That's good enough for now. Though it does sting knowing we've both... Now we... Though it does sting knowing we've... Now let both him and Asclepius get away. He certainly made a quick getaway. Either he's using his Wind God's power. That is his only innate skill. That aside, did you notice how he out, how outmatched he was at the end? It seems you did quite a number on him. Considering how his initial assault had you pinned down to start, I would say that was a victory well earned. Indeed, and we owe it all to you, Lakshmi Bai. Your plan was more than being a little reckless, but I have to admit that it worked. Although I still don't know how all those errors ended up hitting you. I was wondering the same thing. I mean, if any of us were going to be a human shield, I figured you guys would have made me do it for obvious reasons. How'd you do it? Not that I want to learn myself. The only thing you'd get for that is scheming with arrows is a bunch of lard and hot air leaking out. That was... my inner goddess's power. I see, I never knew the goddess locked me out of any such ability. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, that's enough. I was curious about that, but not overly so. Right now, I say we head back to town and rest up before things get really busy. Huh? What do you mean by that? Hey, Yolo. Teach me how to fight. Huh? And not just me, these guys too. Now that we know it's possible to fight back, we've got no choice. You showed us that truth, so now you've got to help us learn how to do it better. This is wonderful, they've all chosen to resist the Kali of their own accord. But that also means... You stood up bravely against the Kali and explored yourself in, to unseen heirs. You should be proud, Lakshmi. It was not your words that inspired these people to fight back, but your actions. Oh yeah, you were like a saint or something. But you charged ahead so recklessly and literally suffered the arrows of misfortune. I don't blame these guys for being impressed. A saint. As if that was even possible. At any rate, I'm happy to see you all ready and willing to fight. Well, if your people believe Arjun is a god that we girl will get, looks like we just took our first step towards that. Have to keep it up. You all sound very excited about this. That does it. I think it's time we found somewhere to talk. All right, out with it. Would you tell me what's going on already? What is it you know that I don't? Does saving these people have some larger implication I'm unaware of? Master... Tell you everything. Gotta be forthright and honest. You gotta. Especially in these sorts of situations. But that can't be true. It is. Once we defeat this Lost Belt's king, cut down the tree of emptiness, this version of India will disappear forever. Along with all of its people. So I'm afraid that even if their rebellion is successful, there's no future for them. The only people here, the only people who benefit from winning this war, are us. I see, I had a feeling something like that was going on here. And even if these people win back their liberty, they're doomed to disappear. And you knew this all along. Watch me. Oh gosh, oh gosh. You are guys really surprised me. Are you fighting? Please don't fight. No, we weren't fighting exactly. Really? Oh good, that's a relief. What is it? Is there something you wanted to see us about? Well, uh, I just wanted to thank you for saving us and to give you this. You looked like you were hurt pretty badly, so I brought you some bandages and medicine. Are you okay, miss? I, I'm fine, thank you. Huh, you really don't look okay now. Maybe I was just seeing things. Well, anyway, I'm so glad you're okay. We're the ones who should be thanking you for getting us that horse and stuff, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I need to be alone right now. She's not very happy with us. Master? It's nothing. She's also a work spirit from proper human history. It's time I believe she'll understand. But for now, I think it's best that we give her some space. I need a snack. She didn't tell me anything. Oh. Um. 
whose perspective are we currently viewing right now? There you are. I'm sorry to impose, but I had to talk to you alone. What's up? I visited there, but it's been surrounded by the Kali, so you retreated. I want to ask you something. I think you know what it is. I want to know what you think about the people of this world. And about what's going to happen to them. At the moment, I would like to put aside our various titles. Master, Servant, Queen, Mage, and so on. And simply ask your opinion, one person to another. I want to know your honest thoughts without worrying what anyone else might think. Hmm. But I don't want my head to be blown up. Hmm. Yeah, there is doubts, I would say, the first one. But I'm thinking the best I can. I see. So in the end, this is the only path available to you. Happy dancing, huh? Well, I look forward to it. Outside of this India, proper human history, Earth itself has been almost been completely destroyed. Miss Savant, you have no choice but to cut down these trees of emptiness. Yes. You remind me of myself back during the rebellion. Hmm. Okay. Back then, I never thought about what the future might hold. There are things... There were things, there were only things I had to do, and the only one path available to me, the path of fighting to protect my homeland. So that's what I did. I didn't have some larger plan in mind, like driving last, every last one of the British out of India or destroying Britain itself. But the truth is, I never stopped to think what the future might hold. Though it should have been obvious that, win or lose, there would be more to be done once the war was over. Okay. Then again, I suppose my options were so limited that the path I had to walk was so difficult that I didn't have the luxury of thinking about anything besides what was right in front of me. So regardless of what the future might hold, if I know the path I'm taking is the right one and I know I have to go down it, then that's exactly what I'll do. I think deep down that's just who I am. So there's some parallels then. What I'm trying to say is I'm in no position to judge anyone for hard choices they have to make under unprecedented circumstances. At any rate, I'm glad you... Tell me what you really think. Just knowing that you do feel bad for the people in these lost worlds is something of a relief. Yeah, I do kind. I do really feel bad. I still don't like this. But I also have no intention of letting this false god continue to have his way with these people. I may ultimately be only putting this problem off until later, but right now, the only thing to protect them is to keep doing what I've been doing. So that's what I'm going to do. So she's going to keep helping them. Huh. You're an odd one, aren't you? Not many people would say something that, like that so readily. You know, I have to ask, why did you come here when I asked you to? It's an minute occurred to you that I might decide to kill you in order to keep these people safe. Give some thought and say, I felt the same way she did. You go on, ignoring your plicks. So we're monologuing now. You say that, just as she called you here to talk to you person to person, you also felt like you had a responsibility to do the same for her. Alright, there's one more thing I wanted to ask you. This isn't to judge or condemn you, I just wanted to make sure I understand. Is it true that you've erased the people in three other lost boats already? Yeah. Expression. I can tell he's not lying or gone mad with power, neither is he ignorant of what he's done willfully or otherwise. This perfectly ordinary human child simply knows what he's done, and had accepted it as best as he can. Alright, that's all I had to say. I'm sorry for keeping you up so late. I said you had something you and I had some things in common, but you've shown me that we have no choice to walk the pa same path. So for the time being, nothing needs to change. I'll continue to fight this false god alongside you. We may disagree on some things, but right now the shared goal is all that matters. 
You may treat me the same as that Florentino person. If you think it best to be wary of me or to get rid of me, you're free to do so. You think this was the weakest story and the battles are fun? Funny! Because somebody earlier in stream said that this is the best story, but the battles are kind of weak. I guess this one does seem a little bit more diver... What is the word? There's a word I'm trying to think of here. Decisive, I guess. But I trust you here. I wonder, could you still say that if you knew my ugly secret? What is her secret, I wonder? Also, I do like that, that we had this little moment here. Mash was spying on us, apparently. But, um, that is section 12. But I like that we had that little moment there. It gave... It's not much, and they're very far and few between, but I like when the main character gets some form of characterization, you know? To show that even though he's a self-insert, he's not really a self-insert. I like when we get those moments. Oh, by the Spirit of Rebellion! I wonder what's changed now. 